Professor Presley, you're needed in the V quadrant. Please proceed to the V quadrant. Well, hello there. I'm Professor Presley. Welcome back to the show. Tonight we're going to be going to the Fleshman Planetarium and learning about black holes. It's going to be exciting and I'm bringing you along with me. So pack up your black licorice and let's go. From all indications, this is the Indiana Jones sundial. Do, 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 do. The dial of destiny, that's genius. The Fleischman Planetarium building is very, very righteous. If I wanted to, I could gleam the cube up and down all sides of that building. I'm here at the Jones Sundial on the UNR campus in Reno, and I'll show you how cool this thing is. So as you see, as the sun's coming down, the shadow is right there. See it? And it's six o'clock right on the dot. And so the sundial works. If there's one thing that you can trust in the world, it's the sun. Of course, if it exploded, it, you wouldn't know about it for nine minutes because that's how long it takes for light to get from the sun to us, even traveling at 186,000 miles per second. Go Broncos. Hey, look, they have the TARDIS from Doctor Who. It's all the way on the outside. Okay. That is a ghost. Is it magic? Is it a machine? It's just a ghost. A ship! A ship in the universe. We are here in the exhibition hall and we are getting ready to go into the planetarium. Let me just show you around at some of the space stuff here. I had something that I wanted to say to you, but I spaced it. <laughs> he gets it. Uh, negative, negative. Uh, we have a reactor leak up here. Uh, I'm gonna shut it down. What's your identification number? Uh, uh, phone conversation anyway. Julie, we got company. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Do I look like a mind reader to you? It's just... If you think I'm crazy, look at this. Look at this.
most terrestrials are a little extra. I'm here on the surface of the sun. It's really hot. One really interesting element about the sun that, that we don't think about a lot is that it's, think about it like a roaring fire. And this is a billion nuclear roaring fire constantly so think of how loud that would be which obviously you haven't read my lecture on it but i have the test right i, I don't have the john anderton ball from the minority report but i have cut out my eyes and put in new ones you were there I'm here on the UNR campus where we just finished watching an intense uh, lecture on black holes and sound in space. Really interesting. 